Your health doesn't have to take a hit this holiday season. With this next recipe, best-selling author Jenny Carr is here to show us how to make ginger molasses cookies. I just have to say right now, I just want to be friends with her. I've been standing here for 10 minutes <laughs> well, talking to her about, I, well, your story is so yeah. fascinating about why you wrote this book, the research that you put into it, but you almost died. I did, yeah. And you, you said it was the inflammation in my body yeah. that was causing all these things, and you saved your own life, really, by changing the way you ate. Yeah, I had a chronic health condition from Lyme disease, and um, it was by maintaining this way of eating, anti-inflammatory eating, that helped me to, to yeah, save my life. Well, you say 60% of Americans have a chronic health issue. And, and if you try to get that inflammation down, it can prevent you from having more issues. Exactly, so chronic health conditions are rooted in chronic inflammation. And while inflammation shows up for a number of different reasons, diet is number one. So if we can just swap out some of the top inflammatory foods for options that taste similar, but don't inflame, then we can gain so much health Which and I love. still enjoy. This recipe is going to do that, and she was saying sugar is the root of all evil. Processed sugar. <laughs> processed yeah. sugar, sorry, that's right, processed sugar. So she swapped out processed sugar mm -hmm. for, what are some of the ingredients we're using in this? Yeah, so these are really simple. We have almond flour, so instead of you know whole wheat or regular cooking flour, we use almond flour, pure maple syrup, that's a swap for processed for sugar. For processed sugar. Yep, then we've got um, ginger, canoka, Blah, blah. Coconut oil. Which I love of, coconut oil. Yeah, instead of... Do you of, have a favorite coconut oil? Um, anything that's extra virgin cold pressed is what you want to buy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And where do you get yours? All over. most, Almost all whole grocery... Like whole grocer... Okay. Costco. All kinds they of have grocery them. stores Okay. now. And did you melt this or is that just how... Yeah, so the coconut oil... No, I melted. I warmed it up. It can be warm or melted. Either one. Okay. And then you have A salt. A little bit of sea salt rather than iodized table salt. And we have black strap molasses. Yum. That's it, you guys. Okay. She's from Jackson Hole, y'all. And, and she's a best-selling author, which I love, with your book. So the sweet. pictures. When you order this book, because everyone needs it, I just got excited. <laughs> <laughs> about all the all the recipes in here, but you'll see how great the pictures are too. It's so mm. so pretty. Thank all you. right, let's make this little guy. Okay, so what's really fun about making these is there's no egg. So if you have little ones and their fingers, you know, want to get in and mix and eat the dough, which that's the best thing to let your oh, kids get in there. Totally. I think. Yeah. So it calls for one and a half cups of coconut uh, almond flour. You can mix this up while I'm going. A okay. quarter, uh, about a Do you mean to help yeah, it's this? about a tablespoon okay. of blackstrap molasses. And you guys, you just dump it in. Like, it could not be simpler. That's how I like to roll. Make things really easy well, in the kitchen. When I looked through your recipes, there, I mean, the ingredients list isn't 27 things long. No. It's those simple raw ingredients. Exactly. Whole foods, right? And then okay. we've got two tablespoons of coconut oil. Yeah, you keep mixing and okay. I will stir. We've got a quarter cup of the pure maple syrup instead of our processed sugar. Do you have a favorite maple syrup too? Or do you just whatever? As long as it's pure and organic, it's always great if you can, you know, okay. pull it off. And then two tablespoons, or two teaspoons, excuse me, of ginger. Oh, that smells good. Uh, I the know, ginger it's smells so good. So the good. black strap molasses and the ginger together are just amazing. Black strap molasses. Black like, strap molasses. Is that also in the grocery store? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go yep, get you that. Can, yep, you can get boy. that in the grocery store. And then a pinch of salt, and we just mix it all up until the ingredients are nice and moist. Okay. This is easy. So easy. A couple, what are a couple of your other very favorite recipes in your book? Yeah, so... Um, you said the raspberry coconut. The raspberry coconut muffins, muffins are amazing. Oh, you the guys, lemon bars. Oh, the lemon bars are, uh, have been well and good's favorite recipe of the year this year. The cake on this um, cover, I always like to say you can have your cake and eat it too, anti-inflammatory style, right? Well, and it's not just baked goods. I mean, she has dinner recipes. You have the sweet potato fries look sweet so good. Sweet potato fries, avocado, potato salad. Yum. Yum. That's a Christmas yes. Amazing. That's what I want. And gorgeous, right? Yeah, it's and really beautiful. There's a slow cooker frittata, which is a really fun Christmas breakfast um, that you, slow, you throw in the slow cooker. How well, amazing is that? Well, you said your son that? also had issues and that you basically healed him from... I had yeah, that. girl. I to have you can you. totally do that. There's no <laughs> eggs in there. You can eat all the dough you want. It's so good. Isn't it amazing? Or so you put them in the little okay, guys, so, right? Yep, you just put them in little balls. So roll them up and then you can take a fork and just kind of tap it down or push it down. And make them look pretty? Make them look pretty. And then how long do we bake them? You bake them for eight to 12 minutes. 
Yep, and in fact, I, we may even have some ready. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Jenny, oh, how do yeah. I get your book? Uh, I'm gonna take this one right here. <laughs> because, right? The, because I love your book, but if I wanted to order it for my family and friends, what yep. do I do? So, two ways, you guys. I am giving everyone here a free copy of this book, the ebook version. You can grab at www. JennyCarHealth.com, J-E-N-N-Y-C-A-R-R Health.com, but you can also find it at Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, any major and independently bookstore around. Merry Christmas, Josh. She said, yeah. drink a ton of water when you wake up, yes. and it makes you thirsty all day, so you're going to drink more water. That's what I'm doing. Number one way to get inflammation out of the body: swap out processed sugar, drink water. You're going to change my life today, mm -hmm. Honey, Thank you so much for being on the show. This recipe is on ABC4.com/gtu. You want it, it's great, and her book is just outstanding. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. So, so nice fun. Happy you. holidays. Up next, settling debate. What do you call that last slice of bread in your loaf? Apparently, like, people <laughs> get really upset about this. So we're going to talk about it next. But first,